All right, for my adventure today will be a triple play of vintage. Uh, we're in Cuyahoga Falls, Ohio, so stick with me and we'll see what I pick up. Welcome back everyone. It has been about nine months since my last video, so it's been quite some time. So, come along with me and let me show you what I brought back with me from Triple Play Vintage in Cuyahoga Falls, Ohio. If you saw the intro, you saw uh, we made a little road trip, uh, Math Bowler and myself, uh, into Ohio, and that gave us a little opportunity to uh, to do some shopping in a card shop that I've never been to before. So while there, up and down the aisles, I saw this. Uh, great price. Can't get this on eBay for this price. So I picked one up. I, I love uh, Archives Baseball. I enjoy uh, breaking this. Uh, and if you stick around with one of my uh, next videos coming up, you'll see me break this. Also, when you first go in, there's a bunch of tables that have some discounted cards on them. So let's take a look at what I picked up. I got this uh, uh, Steelers Super Bowl card, a dollar. The 1961 uh, Bill Verdon Saves a Game from the 1960 World Series, it was marked down to a dollar. Vita Pinson, 1959, I believe this is his rookie card. This was marked down to two dollars. Roger Hornsby was also marked down to two dollars. Mark McGuire rookie card, two dollars. So I saw a lot of discounted cards in this on these tables here. They were marked down to one, two, three, and five dollars. And I kind of went down through those. The last one I got was a half price card that was at the very first table. So let's take a look at what else I got here. 1956, Bobby Thompson, $3. 1956, Dick Groat, $3. And these all obviously have some sort of a uh, an issue with them. This one here, definitely miscut. Uh, the Bobby Thompson was miscut, but great looking card. Uh, the Dick Grote uh, has a little stain at the bottom here. Uh, the 1962 Louis Aparicio, $3. Harmon Kilbrew, $3. Roger Maris, $3. Very rarely will you find a Roger Maris card during his playing days that's under $10. So I thought that this would be a nice pickup for my collection. I don't have this one. Here, Steelers uh, team uh, card from the 50s, $4. 1954 Bobby Shantz, $4. Dodgers coaches, and this is in really, really good shape. Now this one was $5. The card is in excellent shape. Boog Pow, rookie card, $12. And this was the half price card I got. Uh, SGC, 8.5. It was marked down half price at $15 for the John Smoltz rookie. Um, I kind of like John Smoltz. Um, Grade card, I don't know that I could get this slab for $15. It's not a 10. But then again, it's a pretty good looking card. If you take a look, um, it's it's got some super sharp corners. Looks like it's pretty well centered. Maybe a little bit left to right is off. Uh, the card doesn't look to have any major issues on it. So for $15, 
I thought that was pretty good. But then, after getting through that, 1970s baseball, football, 10 cents a card. Now, I'm not going to go through all of these, but I will say I went through their boxes, <clears throat> and I'm working on my 1974 set and my 1979 set to complete. I did not take my lists. I can't believe it. Didn't take my lists. Um, next time I will, I think I was going by memory to try to fill in some cards. But even without my, my list, I picked up a lot of cards in their uh, 10 cent bins from the 70s that were in excellent shape that even if I have the card, very well might replace the card I have. So a little bit of an upgrade with that. But that's pretty much what I did. Uh, I got a couple, some more supplies, got a few boxes, uh, some penny sleeves. And all in all, my trip was under just under $230. Um, go ahead and comment in the, down below and tell me what you think. Uh, there's no super home runs in this, but what a great place. I'll be back to Triple Play Vintage. Hopefully, if you watch this and you're somewhere close to Cuyahoga Falls, you'll consider going over and taking a look at Triple Play Vintage. Great, great uh, store. Very clean, friendly service. Uh, lots, of lots of parking that's real close. Easy to get to. Make a trip out of it. Lots of places to eat near nearby. Uh, that's what we did. We ended up getting breakfast before we went in. But all in all, great trip. Hope to be back again when the weather's a little bit better. Thank you for sticking with me until the very end here. I uh, hope you enjoyed this and stick around for my next video. I'm going to try to get another one out here on archives. I'm going to break this open. We'll see how we did on it.